Uh, we are back in because our play match one was nullified, which sucks because it was probably the best performance I've had with this Niv deck ever. <laughs> Oh well, it wasn't the best performance, sorry. I got very lucky in that our Grick, our uh, Jund Shadow opponent didn't draw a ton of disruption. Okay. Let's see what we're up against here. Alright, we won and went first. Put your gun for into companion zone. Uh drown in the lock veto. No idea what our opponent is. I'm gonna keep this. It's probably risky because if they're gonna just go like turn one forties, turn two dead. So we're probably gonna drop pillars of points and then pass. So ideally, we want our opponent to. Okay. Let's see. Steam vents untapped. Alright, so this is clearly the um, prowess deck, so we're immediately going to kill this. This is bad, considering we are just drawing a ton of lands. Okay, we need... Sprite Dragon? No, Mana Morphos into what's it called? The uh. The Eagle. There it is, Stormwing Entity. Okay, we need to hit an interactive spell. Preferably a Kaya Skyle effect to make us just keep sacrificing stuff. Helix also works, so we're gonna do that now. You could have, um, what's it called, growth? Nope, he didn't. I'm okay with that. Just gotta keep his creatures off the field. Soul Scar Mage. Okay, triple Soul Scar Mage because reasons. I mean, you gotta love it when. <laughs> When MTGO gives triple of the same card. Alright. Uh, expressive iteration. Right, we're gonna counter this. We just gotta stop him getting any kind of advantage. This is fine, we get hit for four. We need to live here. We could literally, though, just lose Niv if they have more. Oh, what's in our sideboard here that could help us? Nothing I'm too happy with, so we'll use this. We're gonna Niv. Let's see if Niv can hit us anything that could, uh... Alright, reload. I swear, it looks like our opponent's thinking, but if we go into another fucking, uh... Reload! I was gonna rage, if we get kicked out again because of unscheduled maintenance... Alright, there's a Brink to Light. Carlos Gar, Ren and Six, this is perfect. So, next turn, we can... Carlos Gar and Helix. Another expressive iteration or metamorphose effect. No, just a spike dragon. Okay, that's fine. So one okay, let's look at our options here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't have enough to do all of it, so what we should do, to be fair, let's play this. Let's Ren and Six. We 
And then we can kill the sprite dragon. So you did have the mutagenic growth. That's fine. So in response to that, we'll helix this. So it's spell fizzles. He doesn't have anything to do. It appears that perhaps he misused the... Uh... I right, will hold back here because we want him to... Have a look. Manamorphos, yep. Red, blue again. Another Manamorphos. This guy loves drawing things in freeze. There's an opt. If he goes to kill Ren and Six, I'm okay with letting that resolve. There's lightning bolts stopping Niv getting smaller. One at me. Two at me. Well, we'll block because we don't want to take the damage. That's fine. Awesome. So, let's... Let's get serious. Let's Kaius Guile. Let's gain four life. Suck. We could actually, we could entwine. Does that make a difference? No, so we want to sack a creature, gain four life. Black, white, one. We'll use this Ook Littering Wish. And we'll grab Dreadbore, I believe, out of the sideboard. Or we could get Vanishing Verse. He doesn't have Loris as a companion, so... Yeah, we'll take Vanishing Verse, because it's fun to sh exile things. White and black. Plus, no targets for Ren and Six. Pass the turn. Alright, so they hit the third land. Of course they don't have Loris, they're running Storming Entity. Bedlam Reveler, that would have probably been a good call to uh, get rid of the old graveyard there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to have eight lands here, so we're, we're more than fine here. Oh, we hit a Niv Reborn. So we could Niv. We don't have a fetch land, so we can't do the great synergy with Omnath, so we'll just cast a Niv. Cast a Niv now. We can hold up an Assassin's Trophy if he goes off the rails hard. Alright, uh, yeah, our opponent concedes to that, so... Damping Spheres come in. Vetoes are pretty solid, but honestly... I mean, it was solid to stop this. Is Prismari Command actually worse here? Because they have mutagenic growth, so we kind of need definitive killing stuff. Yeah, so we'll bring in... We'll bring in the Vanishing Verse, absolutely. Drown in the Lock is always going to kill something, because they throw so many cards in the graveyard. 
Uh, Kai's Guile is always worth it. We'll hold on to Dampening Sphere just to deal with stuff. And then I guess we can go down a... Another Prismari command? Two damage is great, but the problem with uh, fighting... Wait, why did we put Drown in the Lock in the sideboard? Oops. Okay, yep, I just realized I completely messed up sideboarding there. Yeah, Drown in the Lock should definitely be in the main board. Yeah, this hand is fantastic if we were up against a slow-paced deck, but since this is Blitz, we need to uh, get something fast. Mulligan. Oh, this isn't great either. So much of this. Yeah, we've won a lot of our upper end here. Okay, we'll keep this. Put you to the bottom. Probably you to the bottom because they're going first here, so. I am hesitant to the fact that they might just go swift to be a stupidly good turn kill us. Yep. Okay, play the intro to throne. That's the turn. Alright, they got one land in hand. I'm okay with this. Play this. Pass the turn. Ideally, we'd love to keep this fetch land for Omnath. Alright, so we're gonna wait here, see if he goes to do anything. Then in response to the tree. Wait till after damage. Right, then we'll try to helix this. Because we'd like him to burn this stuff post combat. He's thinking about it. Nope, he let it go. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. So we've got another fashion under here for Omnath. We could just go here and Kaya Skyle right now. But I think we wait. Let's see what our opponent does. Well, they drew a second land. So they probably have like a Mana Morphos, Mana Morphos play. Clear the Wi Fi. Alright, that's fine with me. So, what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get a Temple Garden untapped. I'm gonna cast this. Sacrifice a creature, gain four life. Go back up to 20. So, people seem to think with these uh, Omnath decks that I don't run basics. Well, I, my good sir, run all of the basics. So we need a red here. Let's get Second Foundry untapped. Let's not play it here. We'll hold up red. There's Soul Scar Mage. 
Okay, end of this turn, we're going to Lightning Helix. See if he goes for the save on this. Nope, he just lets it die. That's great for us, so we'll start here with this. We'll play on that. We'll draw a card. Play land, tap to gain four more life. Go up to 24. I think we drop the dampening sphere next turn as well. If he spends his whole turn lightly bolting and killing this, I will smile. Because, yep. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad when we drew another one. Ooh, bring to light. Bring to light's fine. Yeah, let's bring to light here. Uh, black, red, white, green. Let's just get Niv here to be a blocker. Slash a reload. Reload! That was a reload. One, two, three, four, five cards. Nice. Yep, alright. We took that out pretty well. I'm gonna cut the video here for the next match. Alright, match two. We get another first 10 win, pretty good. Let's see. So much of this hand depends on drawing a land here. No play from the opponent. Alright, I'm gonna keep this because we can glittering wish if we get like an opponent with something absurd that we need to deal with. Let's get a little swig here for my throat. Let's see what our opponent goes with. Alright. We'll start with the tap trial. Let's see what they go for. This was my fear. Tron was indeed a fear. Okay. Tron into map. We could have a turn for Tron here. Alright, Vito is pretty solid here. We need blue green. Yes, we need our green ball. And then we need a glittering wish. There's only two drop here that could. Um, Dreadball for whatever. Planeswalker who drops could be good. I would say that we take. Let's take Dreadball. Make him think that we dependent on getting another land here. Then we can veto his... Yeah, he has turn free Tron, so we just have to hope that he maybe only has one threat in hand. Okay. Tron is still such a bad matchup for us. Okay. Drops us his tower. Mm. 
that's not good. It's El Drazi Tron. Okay. We're taking five here. Alright, we will draw two cards, discard two cards, create a treasure token. Alright. Get rid of the bring to light. Probably the Vita. Probably the Guile. Stomping ground. Untapped. We can bring to light here. Red, green, blue. White. I think we have to just get Niv again. Get more spells. Reload. Pray that he doesn't have like. Uh, so I'm not sure if he's okay. Not the greatest. What other stuff did we miss? Oh, just a lot of lands and another. Alright, so we could bring to light Valky next turn. I don't think Valky does anything for us in this scenario though. If they just have like a turn four ruler mug, I think we're just dead. All is dust, okay. Yep. <sighs> Alright, we need to play this guy on now. Ren and six is pretty decent. Alright, that's Ren and Six. It's plus Ren and Six. Return the wind swept teeth. Play this untapped. Pass the turn. <sighs> if anyone's seen the modern Horizon spoilers, I will be slamming void mirrors into this deck purely for the Tron matchup. Alright, so if he's coming in for the attack here. We will sacrifice a creature, I gain four life. Okay. Is this another all is dust? No, it's uh, a Nugin. <laughs> That's a card. I'm okay with you killing that, honestly. That's like the worst. That's the worst you've got in your hand. I am okay with it. Alright, we're going to have to do the unthinkable here. So my play for next turn provided that nothing absurd happens here. Alright. Let's... Red, blue, black. Let's 
bring to light for five. This is going to be a bit crazy, particularly if he potentially has someone here. We're going to get on there. And there's a reason for this. He enters, we draw a card. We're going to play a land, gain four life. And I'm going to crack it. And we're going to get an overgrown tomb untapped. It's going to add four mana. So we are going to Dreadbore here. Actually, we don't need to Dreadbore. What we could do. No, we can't do that because I'm a fool. So, with five black mana. So we can do. Is it better to take him off Tron right now? Or is it better to kill the Ugin? Ugin makes a blocker that I can deal with with Tyrant Scorn. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take him off Tron. And then we'll move to Ganfer into hand, pass the turn. So we just gotta hope he just doesn't have like Tron into something huge again. Because we can kill Ugin next. So, nope, he just naturally drew into Tron. Again. Just like Ulamog or some something like that, or Ballista on six, Ballista on seven. Yep. We got hosed by just turn three Tron into turn three, well, turn three bollocks basically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana here. So we could kill Ballista, kill Ugin. I think we have to do that, right? Blue. Yep. The sad thing is... This is just a card that really should not have existed. We'll kill Ugin. Pass the turn. We're dead to so many things here. Yes, I cannot wait to put Void Mirror in for this matchup. I'll put Vo you put Void Mirror in, you take Bring to Lights out, and then we just play a fair magic match. Yep. Expedition map. Yep. Another old Jazzy Temple. We're gonna crack this end step. We want to have more blue. really do with Omnath. Did not draw Omnath. So black, blue, white, red. Reload! Glittering Wish, Prismari Command, no Caius Guile, but we did get a We did get a helix to keep us alive, maybe if we're lucky. By lucky, I mean we need to like not get hosed by these last two cards in their hand. Oh, 
Oh, I don't think there's anything particularly in a sideboard that hoses them as much. Yep, that's fine. He gets another land. Do we get rid of the Ren at six? Cavern of Souls. Yeah. Let me get rid of Glittering Wish here. We don't have anything in our sideboard that's particularly great right now. Okay. Yeah, because I know you'll pull a ballista on the sideboard. Okay, we know one of the cards is a Cavern of Souls. Is the other card something that straight up kills us? Apparently not. Okay, um... Do we bring to life for Omnath? I think we bring to life for Omnath here. Because he's totally free with our current board state. Blue... And red. We are gonna put Omnath into... Valky... There is a lot of stuff that could come in here and kill us off the rip. So we're just gonna drop Omnath. Play a thing, gain four life. Crack this. And get a tapped into your trial. Five. Yeah, we're gonna cast Giganfer. And hold up a helix here. Because if the top play of the opponent is. So if the top play of the opponent is. Well, if it's a blister or Khan effect, we've just lost it. Because there is nothing that could. Okay. Yep. He drew a massive... How big is this? Seven. Okay. Let's wait till he does it. Okay. I literally survive because no matter what you try to do here the thing is if I play this land he because Omnath will do what Omnath does I literally gain four life Still gain life. Okay. Yep. Cool. Uh huh. Still gaining four land. Up to nine life. Combat attack. So now we can Helix, Helix, Prismari. Ok. 
Okay, Helix. Prismari, deal 2 damage, send a message by destroying the artifact. <sighs> that was a grind fest of a match, wow. <sighs> Alright, Dampening Spheres come in. Uh, shh. Colligan's command probably comes in here. Drown and Lock actually comes out in this matchup because probably so does Tyrant Scorn because Tyrant Scorn, Knight of Autumn, I think, as well could come in. Uh, probably where we take out a wish we take out the wish board for this one because there's nothing truly good we can pull here we probably put in a culling ritual no there's nothing maelstrom pulse is another answer to planeswalkers okay yep we'll go with this build I'm now officially in love with Omnath. Oh, this is a turn two dampening sphere. We can, uh, we can keep this. I don't know if this is enough against Eldrazi Tron if they go off to like a turn two. Okay. Alright, we'll play the Savvy Triumph first. And then turn two, we'll play dampening sphere. Which will slow him down by a bit of time. Okay, cool. We will play Dampening Sphere. That's fine because you can play that land. And all that will do is give you... Unless he gets Blast Zone. Blast Zone would be interesting. But then you have to take two turns pumping it up and doing it, so that's not the most terrible thing, I think. Yeah. That's fine though, because that means he's not on Tron this turn. Yep, and you have to go down a land to do that, so I'm okay with this. Plus, if I draw Assassin's Trophy, it would be hilarious. Did not draw Assassin's Trophy. Let's go with Pillar of the Runes here. Pass the turn. Yeah. So does this mean that they have... Uh-huh. I mean, if they just have natural Tron, that would just annoy me as well. I don't get annoyed with the fact they get seven mana off the top of the, the, the thing here. Nope, but they get another... Uh... <laughs> they get a... Uh... What you call it? Another expedition map. A triple expedition map. This is actually really funny because since they've tapped out for that, if if I do what I'm planning on doing here, 
Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, black, green, one. I'm okay with passing now. Particularly, you're going to spend two mana doing literally. Particularly as well, actually, if he blows up the dampening sphere here and I can draw land, I can. Alright, so he's waiting to do it on end step, clearly. Uh, we will grab the Indria trial. I bet we draw land. Oh no, but we draw Renin 6. Renin 6 is good. Red, green, play Renin 6. We're gonna plus Renin 6 here. Play this, then we'll pass. Because this is the play that we can make. If they play a Khan effect, we just hit them with this. If they play a creature, we hit them with Kaya's Guile. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So we can play a four drop now. Two, three, four, five. You can play a six drop now. I'm oddly okay with that if he goes for like a uh, Did he really not do anything? Man, what must be in his hand then? There must be an absurd thing in his hand if he must So we could bring to light here or we could wait a turn you know what? I actually want to bring to light. Yeah, let's bring to light here. Let's grab Niv because that's probably going to be our best. Do we need any more answers though? I don't think we do. I think we need to drop Valky and force them to do something about Valky. I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get Valky. And let's force them to react to Valky. Because this just draws us two cards. That's pretty decent. You know, we'll take him below the Perrins. We have a land drop for next turn if we have to use it. But I don't think there's... Anything absurd he can do here? Primarily, I think our biggest thing here is just keep forcing him to do stuff. Like, if he's got Reality Smasher, it really doesn't occur to me here to kill it. Blast Zone. Okay. Ugin. Ugin is a card. Ugin killing Tybalt is annoying, but not game-breaking. So we just kill Ugin. Alright, so we just kill Ugin now, while we're on. With this, so he doesn't gain any kind of advantage. Then we just play the land... We can do this to add... Actually, hold on. If we add Giganfer, we could play him next turn. But we can't hold up. You know what, this is fine. We'll hold up this. We can just start 
healing sing if we have to. Ideally, maybe we should have gone for Niv. Although, I feel that the Ugin was coming down either way here. Our opponent drew another Tron there. Okay, is this a Fort Not Seer? This is... Alright, when Fort Not Seer enters, I would like to sacrifice a creature, make a 1-1. One, one. Black and 1. See what he does here. Hopefully we don't top deck anything too impactful. Oh, we just hit a land. That was fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could now pull and drop Gigantho, but I really want to hold. Alright, he's definitely holding a Khan effect. If he's taking that, then he. Wow, okay. Well, apparently, uh. Since we don't have any other reason to do this, we might as well just pull Giganfer into hand and play Giganfer here. We'll take a basic. I mean, if he's just got what's it called, the all this dust, I'm happy to fire that off now. We're not in any particular threat. I guess as though he's getting a Khan into an Eldrazi. Okay. Yep, Khan. Probably getting liquid metal. Or a uh, what's it called? What's the what's the orb called? Oh, it's snaring bridge. Yeah, that's fine. I really don't care about snaring bridge. That's cool. So, uh, then if we can't attack, we'll just use his mana for this to kill that now. Then we'll just go into combat here and attack you directly. And if we have to win in 18 turns, we have to win in 18 turns. It's like, oh, I can't attack. Well, I might as well just give him some mana. You know, for funsies. The Sarah Bridge is always a weird choice for me. I guess it's probably because they want to use Ballista effects to just hose out the table, but... Okay. What's he going to get? Well, in response, we'll just destroy it now before we can do anything with it. I mean, I'm assuming that he's getting something like a ballista effect. Or another expedition... No, they wouldn't run an expedition map in the sideboard, right? Thundering Titan, okay. Well, that still doesn't win you the game, mate, because... Yeah, you destroy loads of my lands, but what will you do, though, after that? 
because it can't attack. And I have a Gigantha. Oh, he has a dismember effect. Well, then I will just use this. And cast this at this. Okay. Again, that just slows me down a bit. I don't care. Well, we got an Omnath. We'll put Omnath into play. And blue here. Omnath draw a card. Assassin's Trophy is fun. Um, we gain four life off this. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just leave this hand in hand. Attack. See what they do. So when Sundering Titan enters or leaves the battlefield, he gets to do those things, right? Cool. He's gonna cut in. That's going to happen. Then I'm going to destroy your ensnaring bridge or your fortnights here. What are your ensnaring bridge? Or your fortnights here. Fortnights here just draws a card. But then we lose the card to this. Well, let's get rid of your. Uh, Might as well just do this. You can have the one required. Let's see what we draw. Oh, it's another land, so it's not a big deal. Sending Titan is one of the cards in his hand. Night of Autumn's fun. Yeah, let's do that. Night of Autumn. Destroy the bridge. We can attack for five. Attack, attack. Play this land here. We won't crack it though. So if he comes in, he gets to blow up a lot of lands. But we still are in a good position. Uh huh. All is d shit. Alright. That's gonna be a problem. He has a Sundering Titan that he can't cast in hand. One, two, three. I think we have to thin out the deck here. I really don't like doing it because it gives him way more options here. Hit stuff. <sighs> okay. We might have to win on time here. Don't have a counter spell, you can cast it. That's fine. We literally now probably are gonna win on time. I have all the lands I need, mate. Please continue to take time. It will make me most happy. Uh-huh, still
still have five lands, still can cast everything I need to. Omnath is a good draw. Let's play an Omnath. Blue. Draw a card, play a land, gain four life. We are literally just going to grind out time here. Made a huge attack. It's fine with me. Pull of the Peruse, we'll just gain full life. Play another land that we can't destroy. Uh huh. That's fine. Yep. Like I said, plenty to do here. We just gotta drain time here. Tell us to the void on five, it's fine. The things that will win me this match do not cost five mana. Uh, let's do this, gain four more life. But now I draw a five mana one as we expected. Gain four life, pass the turn. We need to draw Prismari Command or anything to that effect. Sweet. Right, let's destroy target artifact. Uh, two damage to any target. Destroy target artifact. Blue, red, one. Then we will cast Niv while we are on here. White and red and if we can hit a helix off this we win uh... Termin yeah there's the helix so then we will lightning helix the face and that was a grindy but fun match alright we're gonna cut this recording here because two matches took a long time